Stop him dead, Timo Savi. But me glad. Him deserve to die. No, Tonto. No one should have his life end like this. Better him dead. Like White Parson say, this act of providence. Now no one know you still live. Yes, that is true. A strange act of providence has protected my secret. Me? Get grave for him. All right. I'll get Scott ready for travel. All set, Tonto? Me ready. We go after the rest of Cavendish gang now? As soon as we can. But I've got to get him out of some sort. We'll head off toward Wild Horse Valley. Here, take Scout. On, boy. For two days, the Lone Ranger and Tonto travel toward the remote valley of Wild Horses, where a particularly sturdy breed of horses live. Unknown and unmolested by the hunters of the West. Later, at the entrance to this valley, the Lone Ranger and Tonto... Oh, hear sounds of a furious... <laughs> Beyond the rocks in a small glen, they catch a glimpse of a huge buffalo about to gore the life out of a fallen horse. Quickly, the Lone Ranger... Quickly, the Lone Ranger reaches for his gun. Buffalo dying. Horse look bad. Me shoot him? No, Tonto. I'm going to try to pull him through. Well, old fellow, you're in bad shape. A lot of bumps and bruises. Tonto. But there was nothing I could do. He just caught fire. Uh, all about time, too. He's been looking dreadful for days. Pity you have to see him on a burning bed. Fox is a phoenix, Harry. They burst into flame when it is time for them to die. And then they are reborn from the ash. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads and uh, their tears of healing. <laughs> Him of beauty. 
Like mountain with snow. Silver white. Silver. That would be a name for him. Here, Silver. Come back, big fellow. One, Silver. Come back, big fellow. Come on, Silver. There, Silver. You only knew how we need you. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, big fellow. Freddy? We're going to do a lot of riding together. We're going to be pals, aren't we, Silver? A few days later, after the horse has recovered his strength, the Lone Ranger tightens the saddle on the back of the white stallion. Quickly, the masked man mounts, and for the first time in his life, Silver bears weight upon his back. <laughs> Expert and gentle guidance, the horse quiets and responds quickly to the Lone Ranger's lead. Later, the hackamore is exchanged for a bridle and bit. Here is no conflict between animal and master. Here, instead, is a partnership between horse and rider. The Lone Ranger and Silver accept each other as equals. He's a beauty, Taro. Green horse if I ever rode one. Him and Scout, good friends. Yes, they'll do a lot of riding side by side. Huh. Me got everything packed. Here's saddlebag. Your blanket. We ride after Cavendish gang now? Yes, Taro. They were headed toward Colby. Then, too, there's an old timer there I want to see by the name of Jim Blaine. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 